Hi, I'm Mackenzie Lee. I am the author of The Gentleman's Guide to Getting Lucky. And I'm Christian Coulson. I'm the narrator, 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 depending narrator. Where did the impetus for this story come from? Mostly from me avoiding my real responsibilities and avoiding what I was supposed to be working on mm -hmm. and wanting to continue writing in this world and with these characters without having to actually do the work in the world and with these characters that I was contracted to do at the time. So mostly it was just me writing fan fiction of my own book. Great. You can ask me the next question Thank whenever you. you're ready. <laughs> Christian. Yes. What is it like to be the mouthpiece for Mackenzie's words? Um, to bring her characters to life. Is it weird talking about yourself in the third person? Not at all. Um, wow. It feels pretty. It feels great. It feels great, Mackenzie. <laughs> what else can I say? It oh feels my God, one, thank you. It's a it's a privilege. It's a treat. Um, best moment uh, of your day. It's a pleasure. You say best moment of your day, but that's probably it's, all you got. It done really is. It's like really? it's like it's the, it's the thing I look forward to most in the summer. Um, and it's a consistent thing that we're not doing every summer. Uh, yeah, I hope so. Keep writing more yeah, of these. Keep so writing more. Every summer. Um, and no, it's like a thrill. What can I say? <laughs> Um, I feel like we're getting better at this. My <laughs> turn. Go along. Both of the previous Montague Siblings books have been really successful in audio. How important is it to you, Mackenzie, as an author, to have your audio books stand out? Very important. What if you're like, not really? I don't really care. <laughs> I don't really care. I don't care about the audio books. Um, really? Is it really important? Really, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so to give a serious answer in spite of your oh God. spite of your tone, um, I grew up reading audiobooks. Like oh, yeah. that was the only way Yeah, I have a sentimental backstory about right. this. That's Sorry so you've had any time to ever hear this before. It made me cry. Um yeah, I cr you made me cry before, so trading off. Um so I, I grew up listening to audiobooks and I was not a very good reader as a kid and had attention issues and so the best way for me to read was to I had this like very heavy boombox that I would uh, lug around with me everywhere and listen to books on tape. And so audiobooks are what made me a reader and what made me love books and are still like the primary way that I digest digest literature. And so it's it's not so much like important in the sense of like the my my grand plan for this book or my grand marketing scheme. It's mostly just vanity that I really wanted good audiobooks. Um Great. Yours are fine. Great. <laughs> There you are.